This is Natural Resource 474-874, Introduction to Herbatology. Okay, this is furry ringneck, Diadophus punctatus. So we have primarily fishery and wildlife students. Uh, we do have biology students, animal science students uh, mixed in occasionally. But they're learning the parameters of herbatology um, to make them a more holistic person who works with wildlife, whether it's for impact statements, uh, working with Department of Roads when they put a road through to see what is there, what's there that needs conservation. But to find that out, we have to know what's, how to take those different parameters, how to get that information. This class has eight field trips and students have to go on two. So I've been on field trips the whole month of September and will be for the whole month of October, every Saturday and Sunday, and students get to pick two days um, out of those eight to nine days. I'm Heidi Christensen. I'm fisheries and wildlife major, and I chose this field trip because of the venomous snakes. Herps. I love herps. And I have my own uh, leopard gecko at home, and these are a little bit more interesting than just my leopard gecko sitting on a rock. There's a, a lot of uh, non-venomous snakes here called Great Plains rat snakes that all hibernate in these cracks. Uh, it's got a nice southwest face so it stays warm all winter long and sometimes this time of the year you can look in the little cracks and you can see their little heads poking out and the little coils as they sit there and start to stay warm. It's a little bit early for them yet, It'd be another week or so before the mass move back into this site. Ever since I can remember, I've loved amphibians and reptiles uh, from a very young age. I think I can remember back even to the third grade, the teacher asking everybody, what do you want to be when you grow up? And me saying, I want to be a herbatologist. And I vividly remember the teacher running to a dictionary to look up the word herbatologist. People have a lot of misconceptions about our, especially snakes, which make up about half of all our amphibians, turtles, and reptiles in the state. Our the snakes. We have 29 different types of snakes in the state and about 62 different types of amphibians, turtles, and reptiles across the great state of Nebraska. So what do you think we'll be finding today? Well, ringnecks for sure. Hopefully uh, northern plains rat snakes. Uh, uh, we were going to go to a place very carefully where the students will watch. Uh, myself and the other herbatologists go look and we'll find hopefully copperheads, maybe a massasauga rattlesnake, and slight chance of a timber rattlesnake. Cortalis hortus is its Latinized name. This is a two-year-old. It was born probably two years ago. Um, they're found only right now at the present time in the extreme southeastern corner of Nebraska. We also find black rat snakes, lion snakes, garter snakes, bull snakes, racers. Um, and as far as the amphibians, leopard frogs, cricket frogs, tree frogs can all easily be found. I mean, they'll bite sometimes when you first grab them, but I have a hard time getting them. Don't, don't you guys try this because, you know, there, oh. there you go. Open your mouth. <laughs> See, I feel that they learn by doing and holding and looking and finding. It not only becomes something that they can write about or they can remember, but it becomes part of them. Because if they catch the, uh, the, the species and learn how to find those species in the wild, um, they'll never forget it.